Hello and welcome to Red Stapler channel. In this video, we are going to show you the basic of real-time video processing in JavaScript and learn how to remove the green screen and use another video as background. Ready? Let's check it out. First, I'm going to download a video with a green screen from Pexels. Then put the video on our page using video tag. I will set the attribute to autoplay, mute, and loop. As for the output, I will use the canvas with the same size as video. Here's the current page with original video on the left and blank canvas on the right side. Now let's work on the code. First, I will create an initialize function. Let's start with getting the video and canvas element. When working with canvas, we need to work with its context, not the canvas element itself. I will also create another canvas as a temporary working space. We will use this canvas to extract each video frame and process it before we put it into the output canvas. At the end of initialization, we will add event listener to start processing when the video starts playing. We will create another function called ComputeFrame. I'm going to use a temp canvas to get the current video frame as image using draw image method and pass our video element and video size. Now the video frame has been painted on the tempt canvas. Next we'll get the image data using get image data method. We will work on the processing later. For now, just pass the image data to the output canvas. Then use set timeout to recursively call itself and create a rendering loop. Finally, we will call int function when the page content is loaded. Here's our current page. The original video is playing on the left and the output canvas is on the right. Next, we are going to start removing the green screen background. First, let's talk about the data structure of the image data. The image data we currently have on the canvas is in a single dimension array format. It starts with the first pixel of the first row, 
followed by the next pixels in the same row. Then start over with the next row repeatedly until we cover the entire image. Now each pixel has four datas. The first three is RGB value, and the last one is alpha or transparency. So each pixel needs four array spaces, and the final array size will be four times of the actual number of pixels. Now to remove the green screen, we will need to create looped to check all the pixels RGB value. Notice that I have divided the array size by 4. Then we can get the RGB value for each pixel by multiplying the index by 4 and add offset. R is the first value for each pixel, hence 0 offset. G and B will need 1 and 2 offset respectively. Now I'm going to use a color picker plugin to check RGB value of the green screen. Then add if statement to check each pixel if its RGB value are close to the green screen color. You can adjust the criteria as you like. Too broad and you will also remove non-background pixels. Too narrow and you will still have green background. So you have to find a sweet spot. Then set the alpha value to 0. Since this is a basic RGB check, you will see that there are still green pixels left. We will need more advanced algorithm to check the color, but for this tutorial, that should be enough. Next, I'm going to add another video as background. So I'm going to download this fire effect video from Pexos. First, I'm going to dynamically create a video element for the background video. And set the source and other attributes. Then use the tempt canvas to extract each frame like we did with the first video. Then instead of removing the green screen from the first video, we will replace the RGB value with the second video. And that's it. Let's see the result. And that's all for this video. Hope you guys enjoy. If you want to see more depth tips and tutorials, subscribe our channel to stay tuned. Thanks for watching. See you next upload. Bye.